peanut butter mayhem. I went to the home show a couple weeks ago. I went with a couple buddies, but as expected, we went our separate ways. We'd made plans to meet up next to the peanut butter sandwich shop at noon. The home show had a strict no cell phone policy. They didn't want anybody searching on Amazon to try and find a better price to use as a negotiating tactic. Of course, this meant they would have to pass on any additional attendees encouraged to come. Like if somebody found a really good deal on silverware, they might text their friends and say, You have to come to the home show. You have to see this deal on silverware. You have to appreciate the bargain on many other valuable home goods. Because by now, you must realize that you should always buy more silverware whenever you get a chance. Because when the current dollar fiat reserve system ends up in the dustbin of history, you'll need all the hard assets that you can get your hands on. Which is why you should take advantage on this fantastic silverware deal. If the dollars stay strong, you can use silverware to eat food. If the dollar dies, you can trade your silver for food. Anyhow, I saw this guy in the back warming up to give a pitch for a set of knives. First, he started cutting a tomato into paper-thin pieces. Then he sliced a potato like a pro. Then he cut through a chicken, cutting through the bone just as easily as he was cutting through the meat. But then he started cutting a penny in a circular way. And while he did so, he started to tell stories about Abraham Lincoln. How when Lincoln was a boy, he would stand on street corners pitching the necessity of algebra. That if you study algebra, you will strengthen your brain. That if you study algebra, you will become more honest. That if you study algebra, you will learn the truth about the quadratic equation. And that will naturally lead to better food choices. Like how everybody should eat a peanut butter sandwich. That if there ever comes a time in the future when the peanut butter does not exist, then doom will not be far behind. Of course, this was a carefully calibrated ruse. The whole knife salesman pitch was really just careful misdirection to make everybody want to eat peanut butter. So when I tried to reconnect with my friends at the peanut butter sandwich booth, it was swamped with hopeful eaters of peanut butter.